forgot his name. <laughs> and I, was like, I hope like, he's not important. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> to me, to me, he's not. Oh man, Tony the closer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Tony I guess the I closer. Do. What you got against black men? Before, I what you got against, hold on. What you got against black real estate? Yeah, I have nothing against Tony the closer. Bothers me. I'm gonna tell you why he bothers me. <laughs> First of all, he keeps jumping into these tax stone spaces and bringing the fucking energy down. It's driving me crazy. You know, like when I'm in a tax stone Twitter space, I don't want you coming in and talking about real estate. The, I'm sorry. The, the, I don't give a fuck. The so, second hold on, day. Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me finish. Then there's another thing. I've never viewed him the same since Shea, since Shea Glizzy played him out. Oh, yeah. That was a play out moment. I don't mm -hmm. care what nobody says. Tony, the closer, went out bad when he did that live stream with Shay Glizzy, academic says girlfriend, and said, you lucky I got a girl, or I would have took this down. And she was like, nigga, what? And then started cooking the nigga on live. You, he caught a crazy L on that. That's like so much confidence. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> he brought it up like it was still a flex, like, yeah, I'm holding that one, that one's in the can. It's like, I don't think anybody gives a fuck about that interview. You know what I'm saying? I understand y'all are at, at odds or whatever, you know? Like, he was offended that academics called him a scammer because he doesn't scam people he actually calls out these scammers mm -hmm. so like in terms of like y'all issuing beef you're whatever justified and whatever yeah, I, when, you do, when you do business you don't want your your reputation <laughs> exactly. to get silly like so that. it's like yeah i can get that beef but then like the the you try to do the whole let me get your ex bitch do an interview possibly fuck her mm -hmm. and that's the thing it's like before <laughs> you went live and said that she might have been about to put that pussy on you. Right. It's a possibility. You might have been able to like, yeah. you might have got had that get back. As long as her but motivation you, is his destruction, it's right. always on the table. But no, that's the thing, is he played his hand too soon mm -hmm. because he, he said, I could have fucked her in front of her. And she was like, nigga, whoa, we didn't agree to shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, hand, you never have to play at all. You don't have to say a goddamn thing. You, you never even flirt with her first. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It was just so weird. So it's just it just keeps bothering me that he keeps popping up, and I understand the nigga got clout, whatever. It's who gives a fuck. I'm here for like the, I'm here for tax season energy though, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. and it's not, cause the nigga, mind you, tax is a high energy nigga. Jameson's yeah. a high energy nigga. That's yeah. a fact. Hey, whoever's in there, if, if, if these are two high energy niggas, then Tony the closer comes on. Yeah, what's going on? Just tell you so, about what I'm. Yeah, I just it's really it really ir irritates me. Specifically with the second day, I was like literally. Tax had finished, you know, disrespecting Flacco it was beautiful. Cooking. Immediately, Tony came in. I texted the yeah. chat. I'm like, something happened. Like, this, yeah. all the all the good energy and, like, Just, even negative energy, which is good sometimes. Yeah, you gotta, for sure. You got to have the sweet with the sour. Yeah, bro. But all the Tony bodies. literally Dracula sucked every good, any everything out of that whole space. It was crazy. Yeah, then, because bro. then, because he came in as if, like, all right, now it's time to talk about me. Which is never, yeah. which is, yeah. it's very hard to play that unless you're really that nigga. I heard and they didn't especially even know when, each other. Especially yeah. when, like, nigga, let's be honest, we're, we're here for tax. Tax only talks a couple it's, times a year because he can. Right. So the fact that you kind of came in with the audacity that, like, that yeah, man, if, but with me and academics, I know y'all was having y'all little shit, but me and academics, though, man, fuck that nigga. It's like, bro. It's like, yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. literally nigga, changed. My bad. You literally like, changed yeah. the whole context and of why even join the space in general. But just the and way he talked, too, it's just like, yeah. it's just low energy. There's a nigga with a phone in a jail cell right now. Yeah. Bro, we care about him, bro. Let this nigga speak. Uh, yes. So, But it sounds like you hate. I'm not gonna say hate, but you dislike his man is more than his business. His manness. His, I, everything that you said was just about him being a man. You getting simp, you getting dogged out by bitches. Uh, essentially, you a whole ass nigga. Nah, it's not him being a man. It's just no, I mean everything. Just yeah, it's just certain decisions that you made. decisions and moves. Yeah. Because like just like so you said, manness. how he sucked the energy out. That's not even the first time he did it. This is what really made me sick. Maybe like yesterday or the day before yesterday. He was on the live, and there was a moment when he was like, yeah, because, you know, when I first joined your space a couple of days ago, like, I didn't even know who you were, like, but I've only heard good things. And I'm like... Who said that? Tony the Closer to tell who? Oh, my God. And so I'm like, nigga! Oh, so now you're that's like... That's what I'm saying. I, you, this is bothering me, Even you explaining that was confusing, because I was like, there's no way he's... Oh, there's, there's no, no way, way he, he Like, you that. literally just came up in here because it was a high-clout moment because tax yeah, was on. Crazy. And that... 
and, and then and, just and put the thing. spotlight on you. It I don't also like seems to like talk um, about your grievances. Right. Yeah, I don't like nigga. Make a video about DJ Envy in this in the real estate Rico. He got seven. Yeah, like yeah. fuck, bro. Like God damn it. It's and he keeps popping the fuck up, bro. And it's it's, it's bothering me. And me. another thing, like he's just. You got to play your cards right. Like, yeah. you got to know who you are. You got to know when to speak. Because tax, like, this whole, oh, I guess it's a uh, PR run that he's been doing, going to Danny Space, right. creating That's his a, own yeah, space. I don't know what this is, yeah. But, but yeah. this whole thing is really bringing a lot of people out. Like, I saw Rory in one. Like you yep. said, Big Sloth was saw I saw Maul. Big Body. You pointed out Big Yo, Body. Big body, body. Best I was like, was Big Body best in this month. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I saw people that, like, I would literally have to look at the screenshot. I saw, saw B-Dot. I saw B-Dot. Rory, Rory and Maul. Maul was the rare one. Because Maul ain't popping It depends popping on which day you're talking about, but Maul yeah, was Maul, in them. Yeah, Maul yeah. ain't popping in the spaces too often. He's not doing... Maul ain't doing the most talking verbally outside of the podcast. At all. So for yeah, him to he join the space... He'll, he'll tweet his ass off, though. So for But, him. yeah, but so for him to join the space, it's like... And yeah, actually, he's bringing everybody out. And have uh, like an actual it. conversation. Yeah. Nobody feel it's it's like a cookout. Yeah, pretty it's like, much. Hey, it's a cookout today. Like Texas everybody spaces join. have been an old regime of podcasting cookout. Yeah, it, that's definitely what it is. But it is also it's also been a blend. It's it's also been a water hole for the old and the new generations of podcasting as well. Too, mm. you know what I mean? But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Tony, the closer has nothing to do with any of these. Regimes or eras or anything. Man, He's a nigga homes, man. in real estate, and I I literally don't know successful. nothing. Yeah, yeah, he's successful. I literally, I'm about to say, I don't I know nothing about his business. You know, what I mean? don't even know if he's successful. It's, we have to do research. His, apparently, his business is pretty square. That's like, what I'm okay, saying. Everything so is like, about yeah, a book. Yeah, I, I is, can't, I can't order. say nothing bad, bad about his business. It seems mm -hmm. like he's pretty trusted, and he's the only reason why I know about the real estate Rico shit. I would, I enjoyed that content yeah, because yeah. it was, it was focused. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> pointed. I don't need yeah. you over here on the tax thing telling me about the fucking. We I don't. It was on we topic. don't give a fuck. And it's like he has enough clout to where like the journalists in there, like Danny, they're gonna ask him questions. They're gonna like, ask we yes a little bit. But you know what I mean? They're they gonna, got him. But. Yeah, but it's like nope. We can leave him as a listener most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Unless envy comes up. We don't need him with the speaker. I was about baby. to say, nigga, if tax in the room, like, nigga, you just got to, you know. Just sit the fuck back. You a C-list celebrity now. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, when well, this nigga said, yeah, I didn't even know you. I was like, yeah, you just did. Nasty. So all that shit. What's the point I, of even saying that? So all nasty. this shit that I had to deal with, you didn't even know this nigga. And it, it sounds, why, even if you didn't, why would you say that? Why are you even And here? you was giving him his flowers. I don't fucking And you have know. like a weird, uh, like, a, like the way you say it. Did he say it like that? Cause it's different. It's different if you say like, "Yo, tax for real." I ain't even know you for real, but you know, still, shout out to you though. I remember thinking it was disgusting. But That's Tony does say, have on. like a weird, like, I'm better than you cadence sometimes. Oh, for sure. Like when he had joined that yeah. uh, one spaces, um, when he just disrupted everything, he had a like a, a king's cadence. Mm -hmm. Which you know, look, man, black men, we're all kings. You should talk, you know, with respect. Respectful, mm -hmm. you know, respect others and all that Tony good stuff. Closer. Did I screen record it? But Tony does have a. You can't. can't do it. I can't do it. Tony, I'm got sorry, a crown. I can't do it. I just cannot. He do came it. in like I am Tony I the closer, a, and I'm ready to talk about. I academics. thought I had a screen recording of it, but I don't. Yeah. And I don't know. I just remember Every being time, disgusted when I hear heard it. That's all I'm saying. I was about to say. And don't I never, hurt I never hear him talking about. Like I've never heard him make something up in the moment that I wanted to hear. He's always talking about niggas I already care about to a yeah. certain degree. Like, oh, I, I almost yeah. fuck academics, bitch. You know, real estate Rico with DJ Envy. It's never like Tony the Closer saying something from his point of view that I care about. Exactly. Because he's not a, he's not a media personality. He's just known. Let's talk about his him paying for, known. we'll keep this all in the same section. Let's talk about him saying that he paid a million dollars worth of game, 400K. Oh, yeah, he for their interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Can you YouTube that, actually? Yeah. yeah. I, I think I put the link in the notes. Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. I, I think, think it's I almost at a million plays, too. Uh, and he said that it was worth it. I think you just passed, he passed it. it. Yeah. 400. 400. Oh, yeah, right here. Because he said that uh, he said that he made 200 and something thousand in the first week of it being out. Yeah. So, obviously, but just to find out, yeah, Gilly and Wallow taxing niggas. God damn that's a lot of bread. But Tony, I'm not surprised. I'm is not surprised. That, isn't that always a ripoff? But he did it for like a course of time, too. It wasn't just for like one episode. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah. Oh, How many episodes? episodes? He played yeah, it. He it was paid like, it it was like, like I think he paid for. Yeah, 400 for one spot is fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, I don't think it was one spot. I think he paid for like a section of 
time and like promotion. Okay. Yeah, it's the same yeah, way. They'll do like, like that, yeah. the, yeah, these he's sponsors. their biggest sponsor then, right? Yeah. He's we don't, gotta no, be I don't know that. I don't know that. He's gotta be up there. No, we don't know that. 400,000? No idea. Yeah, uh-huh. We heard their deal was thirty million of a bar stool. So yeah, that's yeah. that's the deal though. There you go. That's nah, four hundred thousand is a lot of money. That's bro. a yeah, each ad, nigga. To a peon like me, especially for like a he seems like an independent contractor for all intents and purposes. Yeah, I mean he's yeah he doesn't seem he's not a, Tony the closer don't feel attached to no corporation. It's just him. It's just it's straight, just straight him. Yeah. Tony. <laughs> I wonder who rent he was leasing to that's paying for these appearances on Million Dollars Worth of Game. Yeah. That's somebody's mortgage right there. Yeah. <laughs> and this that's picture. That's somebody's entire house. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Bro. Like, he, yeah, he's definitely in. Somebody got some tenants. Somebody's so. in that amount of debt because of school. Which is kind of crazy. You know, yeah, maybe because of fact. Caesar, but. Because of who? Caesar. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> the scam. I get it. Tony the Closer reveals he paid Gillian Wallow $400,000. To appear on million dollars worth of game. I, I didn't have a big following at first. I started mm-hmm. leveraging other people's platforms. I mean, I paid four hundred thousand a while on Gilly to be on million dollars worth of game. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. hey man, I I, I paid four hundred K. I made two hundred fifty thousand the first week. See, see, I heard you say mm-hmm. God, but look, my Wait, first week. Market, yeah. My first week, I made two hundred fifty thousand. So you know, I'm starting to make That's more good. money. Just because I was able to get visibility to my product. I done sold yeah, 80,000 people. Now I got 80,000 people. I done sold real estate information. You paid 400. Think about how powerful that is. You paid 400 to Gideon Wallow to be on their platform, like as an integrated ad or something? Yeah, we doing business. Okay. Yeah. yeah I know somebody who just recently paid like 500,000 to talk about nothing at all. All right, y'all. Tony the Closer just dropped some big news and he said he dropped a big bag to appear on Million Dollars Worth of Game. $400,000 he spent to appear on Million Dollars Worth of Game. Now, this gives keen <laughs> insights into how <laughs> podcasters are making their money. Did, but <laughs> and shout out to Danny for like, he's in a beautiful space and time right now to where he's literally creating content off his content. Like, not to say he couldn't do that before, but it's like, he's making a YouTube video about his Twitter space. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he's, oh, yeah. he's literally feeding himself. Like his own ecosystem. He's yeah. vertically integrated. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Danny, man. Hmm. Nah, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Bringing that back, huh? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it was necessary. That was the right time. That, that was, was the right time. time. That, that was the right, right time. Yeah, you know was... what I mean? I retired it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, oh yeah, my that. god that was like the biggest thing from the uh joe budded episode was everything was vertically integrated in yeah that. i don't know this was, <laughs> hey good business all around mm-hmm. nigga, shit. um but yeah four hundred thousand dollars for and I, even the way he said you know we did business like you know but i mean we that's not, not like su- a verbal i'm not surprised agreement. just yeah. because we already knew oh i well, thank you nigga we already knew that um <laughs> We already knew that the sponsors ran million dollars worth of game anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, it's interview based and sponsor based. It's nothing. Yeah. It's, they have gotten so far away from. It's a two hour advertisement. Yeah, they've gotten so far away from us being there for the vibes of Gillian Wallow. Yeah. Compared to like what it what it used to be when they was in Philly mm-hmm. and with that other guy too. Dev. Dev. I think his name was Dev. I think so. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, we know it's not that, but uh, it is going to be interesting as well too. Danny brought up a point where he was saying like. He feels like million dollars worth of games seems like they're struggling to get those interviews because they've. I don't know if they slowed up with their dropping production mm. in terms of that because I don't follow them. I was about mm. to say, but uh, you know, just those interview based platforms are coming at a. You know, when you run through all the interviews, there's seasons for like interview based platforms, but it's also I haven't watched a million dollar worth of game in a while. Like bro. I can't even. It's been a minute for me too, man. Because, because you gotta buy into who they talking to. Like their last much, yeah. couple of guests was Ghostface Killer. Uh, CJ Stroud and Tank Sexy Red CJ you know Stroud is a basketball player right? Uh, I have no idea nah. It sounds like it though It does sound like it It sounds like it though football, but I don't know Yeah I yeah, don't know Football quarterback football, Yeah football, football yeah And I'm lying So I did see snippets of the like the Tank And um, what's the other dude like Because I think they're trying to David get into something. boxing promoting because it's, it's a lot of they did hold their own event. They held their own event, yeah, and yeah. you know, I that think seemed, Wallow that pretty successful too. I saw a video of Wallow talking about it, how like you know, it's a lot of money in boxing promoting, and shit time. Gilly. That's why the the the, the Pauls went into it. That's why they went into it, yeah, and they real, all yeah. they have a weird 
like prerequisite with boxing for some reason. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but it just they seem real comfortable in that space. Yeah, I think it's they're just real because fans. Gilly used to box too. They and both they're, they're boxing. They're fans real too. fans of like the sport, so mm -hmm. yeah, it just makes the most sense. But yeah, shout out, shout out to Gilly, man. But I, I haven't been watching any of their interviews. It's yeah, kind of crazy. Nah. That's the problem with guest based podcasts. Like I haven't even watched Joe Rogan in I don't know how long because ain't nobody interested on it. But, but I really care about, and it's always been like that with Joe. But I've been I've been watching Joe Rogan. Like I he can't just had lie. that Neuralink dude on. Yeah, he just had that Neuralink. I was watching. Oh, so I, I watched like that. half of that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even remember his name though. That's he's the first one they planted a chip in. That's all yeah. I need to know. Yeah, he made history. <laughs> oh, he's the. They had the first person that had the chip. The patient. Yeah. The, first, yeah. the patient. The yeah. patient. Yeah. Oh, they got shit. him up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'll have so. to check that like out. Yeah, that shit was good. Hey. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. definitely gonna check that out. See, maybe. Do you think they're trying to interview rappers and give them game? Is was well, nah, you because know, they're not just doing rappers. They had um, they had Tank on there before. Oh yeah, R&B. Yeah, they do more that, than just rappers. Yeah, oh yeah, just rappers. They do way more than just rappers. But it is niggas at the end of the day, and it's also like. Once you become an interview-based platform, is everybody they're interviewing somebody who paid? Because that means a lot, too. Because mm. if the past interviews we've been seeing are niggas that secretly paid and not people that, like, yo, you're just trying to come on and chop not shit up. Not everybody. Like, but it like, when he said Ghostface, I know Ghostface is not paying. Fuck no. Ghostface yeah, yeah, is not no. paying. Exactly. It, but Sexy but, Red Label might have put in some money. Sexy Red Label. Dev well, that's, that's too possible. even because Gillian Wallow need that, too. So a sexy red label could have like put it like nigga we you're, we're giving you sexy red. Fuck yeah, they need that too. Board. But if they it depends on how they operating. Like if they try, does, yeah, if yeah. they hiding their hand, then it's like hey man, give us this bread. But charging, for, charging for interviews is nasty. Charging work, for man. interviews is I'm crazy. Never, That's the quickest way to have your platform just niggas not really give a fuck. It's like. We don't have control that's, over that. That's the no quickest more. way. You literally kind of sold out. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling you sold out. out. I'm like, selling out for everybody that pays. Yeah. It's. It's a weird way to play it. Yeah. But you are kind of like, you know what I mean? Just busting your legs wide open and it for depends anybody on, to and walk And it depends in. on how often you do it. You know what I mean? Like, like if I can catch a Tony the, Flo Tony the Closer fish once a year, I'll do once a year. And the value. 400K one time. One, one, <laughs> one, one, one paid guest True. a year, 400K. Mm. Let's not that's do this it, for yeah. the rest of the year. And it's that's hard the to thing. turn it down. It's hard <laughs> to turn, it, it's hard to turn the number all down. all my like overhead. Man. And sometimes, like, man. I wonder, is there more value into not paying for an interview? Like, uh, a platform that, you know, doesn't accept, like, paid interviews, do they have more value oh, they than Gilly do. than Wallow? They always do. Because people that don't pay for interviews always talk to people they're interested in, so their content it it instantly that. becomes better. Because when you watch Gilly yeah. and Wallow interview some of these niggas, it's like, man... I don't want to. I, I don't. I see you don't care, and I don't care because you don't care. Exactly. So how so, are we yeah. supposed to even care? That's the whole thing with going. That's the whole issue with pay for play is. It's a slippery slope. Is nine times out of ten you wouldn't interview them off the strength. Yeah. So the fact that you or, wouldn't do it as the host, you don't want to be there. I'd or probably maybe the either. more. Go ahead. Or maybe you would, but it's just at a certain point, like they're just, they're just strictly business. And that's okay. Yeah. And when you're strictly business, you got to move a certain way. You got to move like a, a true capitalist. Yeah. But I don't think that they, I don't think we should take Tony the Closer's business dealings with them as to be what like Tank Davis' business dealings with them. I are. don't. I you do get not, what I'm saying? I do not. I know yeah, for yeah, a fact, yeah. well, not for a fact, but I'm pretty sure that the business spotlight nigga, whoever that is for it's, every episode, is getting he's giving the check, but they not charging sexy red. No, fuck I can man. hear giving out, no, he ain't charging for interview. I can hear him saying. No, no, literally, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't think so. No, I don't I don't think it's a regular thing, but that, Tony might have been in that business spotlight, which makes even more sense. Yeah. It he which makes was, even, honestly. he might have been the first spotlight, nigga. Oh, man, right, yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh shit, nigga, I ain't know we can get this much for it. It is easy, and, It's like, we right. helping niggas and helping me? And with, like, ah. as far as the process, like, I can only imagine if I was in their position, if I wanted, what's the nigga name? I can make the dope stretch. If I wanted to get him on, I forgot oh, his man. name. There's a lot of people, man. It, yeah, I about to say, there's a lot of people cutting <laughs> the work, nigga. Are you talking about that specific cadence and flow? Because I can make I, the dope stretch. There's a lot I of can bars about making that dope stretch. I can teach that. Damn, y'all don't. That's crazy. We're gonna get a lot of flack for that. But anyway, you don't know me. You don't know either. At least I know the the lyrics. Thank you, Lauren. Boss man, D -Lo. Boss man, D -Lo. So if you wanted Boss man, D -Lo, mm -hmm. would you hit up his label to be like, you know, we're trying to get your artists. Can you pay us? Or are they going to like D -Lo specifically? 
It depends. Like, I, I, they I wouldn't think, go to D Lo. I think a transaction, yeah, a transaction. Or would D Lo even know? If a, he probably doesn't know. Exactly. If an artist, because the if an artist is signed to a label, the label is the one reaching out to these media companies, Breakfast Club, Hot 97, you know, like there's booking those yeah. appointments, podcasts. So if there's anything that's going to be paid, the label's going to be taking care of yeah. it before they, they're just showing up to be showing up. That's the only way you can guarantee that the person's going to come. Like you can literally talk to D-Lo himself, but if his label it doesn't have this on the calendar, he's probably it's not, not going to be there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But and let's not, go over to... Uh, yeah. Let's go over to the West Coast real quick. 